To be or not to be, that is the question. You may have heard this quote somewhere, right? He was a famous writer who lived more than 400 years ago. He wrote plays that are still performed today in theatres all over the world. Today, I am going to be talking about that renowned person, William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare was an English playwriter, poet, and an actor. He is regarded as the greatest writer in the English language and the world's preeminent dramatist. He is often called England's national poet and the Bard of Avon. His extant works, including collaborations, consist of 39 plays. 154 sonnets, three long narrative poems, and a few other verses. His plays have been translated into every major living language and are performed more often than those of any other playwright. He remains arguably the most influential writer in the English language, and his works continue to be studied and reinterrupted. Shakespeare was born on 23rd of April 1564. He was the son of John Shakespeare, an elder man and a successful glover, and Mary Arden, the daughter of an affluent landowning family. He was born and raised in Stratford upon A1. He was baptized on 26th of April 1564 in Holy Trinity Church, Stratford upon Avon. Shakespeare was educated at the Kingston School in Stratford, a free school, chatted in 1553, about a quarter mile from his home. At the age of 18, Shakespeare married 26 year old Annie Hathaway. And six months later, after the marriage, Annie gave birth to a daughter, Susanna. Two years later, twins, son Hamid and daughter Judith, and were baptized on 2nd February 1585. Hamid died at the age of 11. Shakespeare left England because of these reasons. Number one, he left Stratford to escape prosecution for deer poaching in the estate of Locker Square, Thomas Lucy. Number two, he moved to London to pursue a career in theatre. Scholars also hypothesize that Shakespeare left Stratford due to some kind of conflict with the wealthy gentleman Sir Thomas Lucy. In 1599, a partnership of members of the Global Company built their own theatre on the south bank of the river Thama, which they named Globe. It was also the first theatre in London. Romeo and Juliet, Macbeth, A Midsummer Night Dream, Julius Caesar, Othello, Hamlet, and many more are his famous work. Shakespeare lived in different places in London. He first lived in a place called Bishopgate. Later, he moved to Southwark, where he built a theatre called Globe Theatre. After that, he moved back north of the river Thana to an area north of St. Paul's Cathedral, where he rented rooms from a French Huguenot named Christopher Mountjoy, who made wigs and other headgears for women. Shakespeare died on 23rd of April 1616 at the age of 52. He died within a month of signing his will, a document 
which he begins by describing himself as being in perfect health. No exact contemporary so explains how or why he died. His body was buried on 25th of April 1616 at Holy Trinity Church, Sanford. After Shakespeare died, a group of people collected his place and made a book called The First Folio. It has 36 of his plays and is very important. It was first published seven years after he died.